Hi everyone, these are the figures from the last session I did. And today I want to talk about tips that helped me learn figure drawing and hopefully you can shortcut your own path or at least be entertaining. And if it's neither, just let me know in the comments below. The main topics I want to talk about today are figure drawing paths, learning anatomy, and copying art. The thing is, I actually prefer different type of figure drawing methods depending on how much time I can spend. So these uh, these figures here are by Emily Zhu, and I would say they're probably around one to two minutes, and she comes from the Sheridan School in Canada, and I'd say the star is kind of typical of that Sheridan School. Um, Whereas this is a drawing that takes 40 hours by Joshua LaRocque, uh, done a, a competition in 2013 for Grand Central Academy in New York. And if I'm at a 40 hour session, I'm probably not gonna be drawing the, these like kind of more gestural drawings. And if I'm at a one to two minute drawing session, I can't do one of these drawings. And, and that's the thing about figure drawing, there's, there's so many different avenues you can go and different methods you can learn depending on what you actually want. Here's a five minute drawing by Jeff Watts and he focuses on getting raw information. Look at all this anatomy around here. So much anatomy going on, so much shadow shapes. And then here is a drawing by Eric Giss and there's a bunch of different shadow shapes too. But the intent of this drawing and the intent of this drawing are different, even though they're the same amount of time, but the focus is different. And in a shorter period of time, you kind of have to pick your battles. You can't get everything, I think, these are 12 hour drawings that have kind of a little bit of everything, you know, it's like the, the pose is good at the same time, it's fully rendered. This is done at the Ecole in France around the 19th century. And uh, there's even a more illustrative way. So this is by Henry Yarn. I'm probably gonna guess this is one to three hours, but the intent of this is to make a pleasing image. And the intent of this is raw information, you know? And this one is like fun gesture. So different types of figure drawing. In understanding these figure drawing paths, we can see that something like the 40 hour pose at this level of super feeling real is relevant to be able to render more and turn form, something that Christopher Young does. And so you can see his figure drawings very nicely rendered and then his costume and color, it's the same thing. However, a completely different path would be the Emily Zoo thing where you do like quicker gestures, quicker costumes, and fill in flats. And they're kind of different methods of working, but you can do both. We have Lion Decker here studying at the Academy in Julian. On the left, really nice painting, uh, kind of more feeling real. But on the right, we have these images of his from the Saturday Evening Post looking a bit more stylized, still feeling real, but there's a definitely a difference in style. Let's go to topic two now, which is learning anatomy. So I used to break dance and go to the gym and one of the methodologies for getting good was just, just keep doing it, just keep doing it, you'll get better, just practice more, practice harder. And so when I started learning figure drawing, I did five minutes, let's go. And I, I, I would do a bad drawing and I would go back to the five minute pose and just keep hitting it more, hoping to get better. But if I wasn't thinking about it, I wasn't necessarily going to improve. And so tip number two is to learn anatomy at home. I, I think it's important to realize in a five minute pose to respect the knowledge of anatomy. And when you learn anatomy at home, I think it doesn't matter whether you're looking at someone like TB Choi or uh, a more anatomical muscular chart or slash book, Kirk Shimoto's diagrams. I really like these ones, by the way. But my personal favorite for learning anatomy was phone apps because I could literally be anywhere and search up something, see it on a 3D model, turn it around, and that helped me a lot. So 101, being at home and using the resources around you to study because even though I knew what the abs were, I knew where they connected, I didn't know how to draw it. And so taking that drawing, going home, looking at someone who I respected, and in this case, it was Kirk Shimoto. Kirk Shimoto indicates the abs like this, I copy this, I get better at drawing anatomy. Which brings me to my third tip, just copy more. If you've ever been to scholar.google.com, they have this tagline at the bottom, stand on the shoulders of giants. For anyone unfamiliar with this statement, the idea is that 
our knowledge builds upon knowledge of the past. And I think artists seem to forget this idea in terms of originality or style or whatever. But you can totally see it through history where in the past a lot of humans were painting more flat. They literally didn't know about perspective. It hadn't been invented or conceptualized. And then a person figures out the rules of perspective and everyone else, all the cool kids want to do perspective. And this is a very simplified overview of the history of perspective. But the idea, and there's a huge time gaps between this, but the idea I'm trying to say is that as artists, we do learn from each other. We do learn from other artworks. And I think it's important as artists to stand on the shoulders of giants. So if you like Glenn Keane's faces, I think it's totally legit to copy it. I've seen this same anime boy a dozen times. This is from High School DxD and a Kamega Kill. It looks the same. I think if you like it, just, just copy it. Everyone's copying each other. People don't like the idea of copying, but that's how we learn. Even in Western animation, we have Sam Does Arts, Rapunzel, Frozen, Elsa, Lila, Elsa, <laughs> sorry. And they all look pretty similar to me with their gigantic eyes and small eyebrows. You like the style, take it. You like Glen Keane, take it. My favorite and most memorable story of this is one time I'm at figure drawing. During the break, I pop over to my friend Will. Bro, what are you doing? He's got Kirk Shimoto on his phone and he's just copying Kirk. I'm like, what? And as I approach him with these questions of like, what are you doing, bro? He responds very calmly, I'm looking at the answers. I realize, yeah, that's totally what he's doing. He's looking at Kirk Shimoto for the way he wants to draw. And these are Will Bladen's drawings. I can definitely see that Kirk Shimoto influence. That's what it is. When you're at figure drawing, it's legit. I was, I was mind blown. Yeah, I should do this. Legit, just copy whoever you want. Copy people at home to get good if you don't want to do it at the figure drawing session. Bust out your favorite book, if that's art or Spider-Man or whatever you want. Maybe you want to copy Shiyun Kim. Do and learn from whoever you want because I think it's important to do the art that you want to do to become the artist that you want to become. That totally makes sense to me. And in terms of style, I think we all find our personal style artistic vision and what we want to copy and what we don't want to copy. That in itself is a decision. But let me know what you would tell your past self on how to get better in the comments below. And I hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world. Thanks everyone, bye. Okay, you want to see some figure drawings? I got you some figure drawings, okay? So these are like, like fives, tens. Uh, these are like 30 seconds or something. Yeah, these are one minute. These are, I don't know, maybe like two minutes or something. 30 seconds, one minute. These are, these are five minutes. Five minute poses. I made like little goblin faces because I got bored. These are also like five minute poses. Also five minute poses. Uh, it makes from like 30 seconds, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. And I think these are like 20 minutes. Cool.